In this video, we're going to write a recursive program to solve the FizzBuzz problem. Uh, FizzBuzz is a described as a game that was kind of given to students when they are learning division to help them think about divisibility. Uh, the way it works is you're in a room and you are counting up to a hundred and you're going around between people and each person you know, would have their number but instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. they would, if the number that they were supposed to say was divisible by three, they say fizz. If the number is divisible by five, they say buzz. And if the number is divisible by both, they say fizz buzz. This has turned into kind of a standard simple question for some programming interviews because it's not hard to write um, and it kind of places a, a fairly low bar basically if you can't write FizzBuzz you should not be applying for for a programming job. Most of the time FizzBuzz is written using a loop but what we know how to do recursion right now so we're going to write FizzBuzz using recursion. So let's start with our FizzBuzz, I need a space in there, dot Scala. We are going to basically hard code the fact that this is going up to 100. So I'm going to pass in a single number because we're counting up. We're just printing things here, not doing anything else. And let's see, I want to write this using a match statement. I guess I'm actually going to combine an if and a match because I think that the fizzbuzz part of it is done very elegantly using a match, but I do need to stop at 100. So I'll put an if around the outside if i is less than or equal to 100. then we'll do stuff, otherwise we do nothing. So that's just defining our, our base case. So I don't forget it. I'll put in a call to fizzbuzz with i plus one. And now the match. So what I want to match on is basically whether i is divisible by three and five. And I can express that nicely as a tuple. i modulo three, i modulo five. And then I can match that tuple against a number of different cases. So for case 0 comma 0, that means that it's divisible by both 3 and 5. So we're supposed to print line fizzbuzz. For the case of 0 comma not 0, anything else, we're supposed to print line fizz. For the case of anything comma zero, we're supposed to print buzz. And for the case of anything else, which I could also put as in a tuple underscore comma underscore, but it really doesn't matter. The under single underscore will match absolutely anything. Then I want to print line i. So here we're using match as a statement. We're not giving back a value. And all we're doing is printing. So it distinctly has unit. We're making good use of the patterns though, in the case of the tuples. And by doing so, we're not recalculating these modulos. So we're only going to calculate them once to start with. And then the pattern matching does the rest of the work for us. And if we run this, no. Oh, I never actually called it to start with. Fizz buzz of one. So we'll start at one and we should go up to a hundred. And there we go. So scroll up to the top of this. One, two, fizz, four, buzz, fizz, seven, eight, fizz, buzz. And when we get to the 15, we have our first fizz buzz. Uh, 
And there you go. So that is an implementation of FizzBuzz using a recursive function. We're using a match. We're using the pattern matching inside of there. Uh, it's a nice example of many of the things that we've learned to this point.